Hello, hello everybody. Um, this is kind of like an impromptu video for this week because your girl's been stressed and I have not had a chance to like plan out my video for this week but I have made a commitment to one video a week on Sundays upload. So we are going to do, like I said, like an impromptu thing but basically what happened is I got this from Germany, never been to Germany before, but I'm excited to do like a like a little impromptu unboxing and maybe we'll just test it out as well. But this is something that I've seen on Instagram for a really long time and yes, I am a sucker for Instagram ads, but this wasn't really an ad. It was like a lot of artists were using these products, so maybe it's sponsored more than it is an ad. Maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. But anyways, so, um, well, I would tell you what it is, but let's just, let's just open it. I've been waiting all week to open this, but I figured we would do an unboxing together. So, now wait. I have done an unboxing video in a really long time. <gasps> Ta-da! It is, if you've ever seen them before, it's the the glittery, like super glittery watercolor um, paint sets. So this is all the things that I got. Let me just fold my address for confidentiality here. So this is the list of things that I got. And then, so I got the hollow, which alone I think it was, it's kind of expensive. But, and then the mother of pearls, the pharaoh treasury pearl full pan set, revised version, jewels of the sky, and ghost pearl full pan set. I'm so excited. And a little disclaimer, I actually, I love watercolor. I don't know how to paint. I just love it. So here's another one. I'm so excited and like do you ever have those feelings where it's like you get something new and you're afraid to use it because you're just not ready for it yet yeah I honestly if I wasn't making YouTube videos I would probably hoard this for like five years and then maybe finally decide to use it but I guess there's perks to making YouTube videos my bangs I just took a shower earlier so my hair is just not settled yet. And then here's the last one. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. Where's the Where's the hollow one? The book? Is it in here? Those should be separate. Did they not give me my hollow one? <gasps> no. Unless they stuck it in here. Okay, so this is the Pharaoh's treasury one. So we're gonna open it together. Did they not? No. Okay, hold on. Let me get you a little bit closer so we can do the unboxing together. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad right now. Did they really not? Okay, so this one, let's start with this one. It's the Pharaoh. No, this one's the Jewels of the Sky. Okay, so. Eh? Oh my god. <laughs> that scared me. I was like, what? Okay, <gasps> look at that, so pretty. Okay, so that one's that one. We have ghost, wait is it ghost? Ghost pearls, is that what it was called? Okay, yeah, ghost pearls. And then we have, <gasps> oh my God, I am obsessed. These are so pretty. Okay, so ghost pearls. We have the Pharaoh's treasure. Look at the little, oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, this keeps scaring me. I'm like, I thought it's like the paint got all like smashed or some shit. It's probably what, why they put that there, but these aren't really my go-to color palettes, but it was like, I think buy four and you get like an X amount of discount. And so there's that. And then we have Mother of Pearls? Yes, Mother of Pearls. I think I got too many pearls. <gasps> okay, there it 
is. Oh my god, I was so nervous. I thought it was missing, but this is its solo one, the the hollow. It's by itself. So I guess they didn't want to put it in its own container. So that scared me. I thought we were missing this, and I had to contact Germany somehow, but we got it. I'm excited. So this is the hollow one. Oh my god, I'm so excited to do some swatches. Last one. Ooh, this one also is not my go-to color palette, but look at that. It is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's do I think I'll put the hollow one in here, honestly. The jewels of the sky. I feel like it would go better. Look at that. It's like magnetic. And so it like stays without having to like move around this one but now my OCD is like oh this one doesn't have a magnet but I do have magnetic strips somewhere maybe I could put a magnetic strip okay that'll be for like another time but this one I'll just keep in here for now okay let's do some swatches oh my gosh I'm so freaking excited Let me just put all this away okay um originally I also was gonna like print out something and like test it out but I'm gonna tips and rules for usage real quick Great, and this is in German, and I don't know German, so. Okay, cool, I love that they gave you the little instructions. So we have these here. Let me go grab my watercolor paper and shit, BRB. Okay, are we ready? I got some water from Mehwa, the thingy, you know, the thingy thing. And then I got some paper towel. We have our colors. And then, I honestly, don't judge me, I got like the cheapest materials for watercolor. I think my husband <laughs> spent about like 25 bucks on these like cheap brushes and this cheap watercolor palette, uh, sketchbook, sorry, watercolor pad because I wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to investing that much money on it, which is ironic because I just spent like 150 bucks on these. <laughs> But like $25 on everything else. Um, but again, like I said, like I didn't know if this was something I'm gonna pursue heavily. And so, yeah, I don't wanna, there's some stuff in here that I'd rather not share. It's embarrassing. Okay. So, move that around. We got our sketch, or I keep calling it sketch pad. But let's do, would that help? Maybe. Let me get a good angle for you guys. Okay. I think that'll, that'll work, right? You can see everything? Okay. So I don't know how I want to do this. Let's do eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a toe, tiger by its toe, right? Is that how it works? Okay. Whatever. I don't know. So we're gonna do, I can't even see it, the mother of pearls. We'll start with this one. Ooh. So you're supposed to wet it. And I don't really wanna get the whole thing wet, so I'm kinda wondering what if I like take it out. This is why I got this. I'm so nervous. I'm just gonna take it out like this. We'll wet them a little bit. I don't know which way would be better so I don't get like my whole table wet. Let's do that. Okay. I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Let's do. Maybe like on here so I don't get the, the watercolor thing you went. Let's do that. Okay. And then I got my little handy dandy, just water. Spray. We're just gonna wet it a little bit. I said give it like five minutes though. So, oh, our 
already making a mess. Now stick it back in here. That way, you know, the can thing or the tin thing doesn't get wet. That was my original reason why I didn't want to spray directly in it. So we're going to let that soak and get a little bit wet. Let's get these ones. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited. Okay, I guess I might even need this at this point. Let's do... Ah, these are the most expensive art supplies I've ever bought in my life. <laughs> are we ready? Oh my gosh. Let's get this a little bit wet as well. Beautiful. Stay in place. There we go. Okay, that way I can get the hollow to stay in there too. Okay, so that one is wet. I feel like this is just a lot of extra back and forth. Oh, they're so freaking pretty. Okay, and then we have the last one, Ghost of Pearls. Ah! Okay, they're all wet. So I think I went in this order. So, okay, here we go. Do I want to use my big fat brush or do I want to use here, this one? We'll do this one is a. This is the brush we are going to be working with. Um, I gotta do my little water dippy. Oh my gosh, okay. Sorry for all these oh my goshes. I'm just so freaking excited. Oh! Okay, so this one has the mother of pearls. Oh my gosh, I'm like, or should we go lightest to darkest? I think, I feel like this is maybe too dark. We should do this one. So let me grab so real quick, let's take a little, oops, let's put a little bit of notes on here. Or a little bit. Okay, we'll go with this one first. Oh, we can't see it because it's like white. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was <laughs> anticlimactic. I guess you could kind of see it. We're just gonna... Just do swatches anyways, even though it's white. Okay, whatever. So that one is that second one. Okay, this might not be as great in the beginning. Ooh, okay, we got a little bit of gold going on here. Let's try the pink one. Ooh, okay, now like, can't really see it. I'll give it like a closer look afterwards. But we're just gonna. Okay, that one has like a slight green. Mm, okay. I see you. Okay. So, yeah, this one, kinda anticlimactic. But uh, you can kinda, kinda see it, right? Next up, we have. Let's do this one which is the Pharaoh's Treasury. Okay, here we go. Another white one, so might not show as well. Yeah, as expected. Here we go, now we got the colors. Ooh. Oh shit, you can't even see it. Oops, my bad. Okay, we were, we were way off. We got this like bronzy, coppery color. That's actually really pretty. And then we got this brown. Okay, that's actually more coppery. And I have very much glitter to that one. And then we got this. Okay, that's deceiving. I feel that one was this one right here. And I thought it'd be more red, but it's like more sienna burnt brown. And then we'll try 
this one. So that was these ones. So we got the Mother of Pearls. This isn't my original handwriting by the way. This is just me trying to keep the pad straight because I normally write really... I have to like shift it to write but for this video purpose I'm just keeping it straight enough. Okay, so here we go. We have this orangey color. August. Ooh. Pretty. We have this silver color next. Still can't see that one very well. That's okay. Going a little bit darker here. Focus! Help me in. I need to focus before I did the swatch, but that's okay. That one was that one, which is interesting. This is why we do swatches, right? This one's more of a gunmetal gray, it looks like, if you can see. Then we're gonna go for the green, way off green. Gotta focus again. Okay. It's like a sage mint green, I would say. Gold color. A little bit light again on this one. But that is these colors. Ooh, best for last because that hollow right there. Ooh, I am so excited. Okay. And this one was called Ghost. No, just kidding. Jewels of the Sky. Okay, here we go. Let's do the white one, which we already know is not going to be very visible. Let's just. That'll look really good later on, I think. Okay, and then we have. This like ruby fuchsia, not fuchsia. Oh, okay, that's definitely not very ruby-like. We have this gold one. I don't know if I'm not getting enough pigment or maybe it's supposed to be weak. Okay, we've got another green similar to that one and then we got zebra blue oh, maybe I'm just not getting enough pigment you know what that could be it maybe I just need more okay it's not as blue as I wanted it to be okay there we go yeah maybe I'm just not picking up well it like one side it looks really blue and then the other side it looks really gray we got the purple next Yeah, I'm just like gonna really try to get in there. Interesting. And then we have the hollow, which I'm gonna move you over to this corner. Okay, here we go. The long awaited. Anticlimactic. <laughs> okay. Well, those were all the swatches. Let me do a close up real quick for you. God damn it. Love you. You're the best. Whatever. You only love me for money. <laughs> Actually, no. Anyways, I'm I'm still re recording, dude. Love you. Love you. Sure. Bye. Bye. So let's do a real oopsies. Let me get you off my tripod real quick. Okay, so here we have the ghost pearl swatches, which see this is what I mean by like lighting. Like from here you can't really see much, and then you go this way, you can kind of see it. 
And then moving on, we have the Mother of Pearl swatches. So here we go again with the different lighting. And then going down, we have our Pharaoh's Treasure <laughs> swatches with my extremely chicken scratch, but that's okay. So like some of these are kind of glittery, but some of them were not. We have the Jewels of the Sky swatches, which they look so black and white this way. And then you look this way and it has like, you see that blue now? Do you see it? And the purple and the green, but then black and white, blue and purple and green. And then the hollow swatch. <laughs> it's supposed to be like extremely glittery, but I guess on white paper you can't really see it. So there's that. So here are the swatches. And then I will maybe paint something on a darker surface and then we can kind of see on top what it looks like. So I'll be back. All right, I don't know why I said I'm gonna be back, but I'm gonna record this process as well. So I have my old crusty paint thingies. And then I also have, again, part of the $25 that my husband invested in my, <laughs> well, he didn't invest in, I just asked for like the cheapest, you know, supplies so I can do it. But let's do, let's not blue. Should we do it on black? Let's try it on black. So we got our little dusty black watercolor. So we'll get just a tea. ooh. That's not cute. Okay. So we want to test the light colors on black. And then, should we do like a, um, like a different color? Should we try blue? Should we try brown? Let's do brown. So, let's move that out of the way. This is a burnt paint on me now. Burnt umber. This might have weird watery shit too. Maybe? Oh, no, I yeah, a little bit. Okay. So I'm just gonna make some big fat swatches and then let that dry before I come back um, because I have to take care of something for my husband. But we're gonna use this giant brush. We did the swatches on this brush earlier and then now I got this big fat brush that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna see what it is. Maybe focus. So our focus is like the thing of, I'm gonna be saying for a million years. Okay, so this thing is like gigantic. I'm just gonna wet it a little bit. Get that nice and wet. And I'm just gonna do this entire blob, okay? Entire, let's do it brown first. I forget watercolor is technically supposed to be like very watery, right? I'm just gonna get that whole glob. Maybe, maybe I need some water actually. I'm gonna get that giant glob of brown and we're just gonna, just so we can kind of get more paint on it. don't know how to paint. There we go with that giant glob of brown. Beautiful. Wipe that out real quick. Nope, still has brown on the brush. Okay, and then we're gonna get a giant glob of the black soak it all really in. Yeah, that's a lot of black. And then we'll do like a giant, wow, ooh. That is satisfying. Cause it's like just smearing right on there. Ooh, that's so pretty. Am I gonna make like a gradient? Ooh. Having so much fun with you. Okay, that's, that's gorgeous. Okay, that actually turned out really well. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry completely. So it might be a little while before I work on that. Leave that there. And then we'll come back to it. Okay. Oh shit. 
Fuck. Ah, shit, fuck. Oops, I'm still recording. My bad. All right, I am back. Oh, whoa, it was like yellow and then. It is freaking cold today here in Seattle. I don't know why, but it could also be because I'm drinking boba right now. But okay, so um, let me show you real quick. Before, when I left off, this was, was a little bit earlier, I had painted this just because I wanted to use the scrim watercolors on top of it. And so now it's completely dry. So. Uh, let's get started, shall we? Okay. Uh, I should probably move the camera so you guys can see it, obviously. Um, let's go like that. Okay. Do you want it? Do you want a close up? Maybe a close up. Okay, that works, right? Okay. So I think I have to rewater it. Should we do the ghost pearls? I think so. We should do this one, right? And actually, while this was drying, I went to go pick up some lunch with my art friend. Oh shit. I wasn't gonna spray in it, but I kind of sprayed in it now. And I, oh, well, that's okay. We'll just spray in it. Um, she said I really have to go in with the paintbrush on this. So, let's do. Let's get this brush again wet that shit and I know I was supposed to let this like really soak but I'm just gonna go in because I think it might be still kind of wet from earlier so I'm gonna really like let's get in there I think well because it's watercolor right so it has to be watering or like should it be less watery if I want it more pigmented you think I don't know okay are you ready Maybe I should go closer close Sir, how close can I get? That's the closest I can zoom in. Are we ready? We got some paint. I don't know if you can see it. No, not really? Okay. And, uh, okay. That one was that one. So it was a little bit more blue. Let's try a different color. Let's try maybe this one. Can you see it? Oh yeah, that's really soaking it up good. Okay, here we go. Make sure it's, should I do a heart on this one? Honestly, I don't know how to Raw. Okay, that's an ugly ass heart, but that's okay. I feel like it needs to be. <laughs> there we go. That's more of a heart. I think it could still. I might still need to pick up more paint on this, I feel like. Let's try a little bit more of a greener one. Okay. Did I get it? Okay, so this one, what should we draw? Four leaf clover by Cam. It's kind of like a butterfly, actually. It's just a little butterfly. Oh, sneak is awake. I don't know what she's doing. She's kind of cute, right? So this is my snake, Snowball. I don't know what she's doing. She's probably hungry. She comes out maybe once every two weeks-ish out of like inside under her whatever's, but... Oh, is she moving? It's kind of moving. Yeah, I don't know what she's doing. I would take her out, but she might be hungry and she might chomp off my finger. So zoom out here a bit. So this is what I see from my ankle. Maybe let's try some of these darker colors, shall we? Just really getting it in there. Oh, so pretty. Let's do, where should I put it right here? 
don't know what I'm drawing, but just interesting. Let's try. I'm gonna try purple on this brown right here. I'm gonna try some purple. Interesting. That's cool. Definitely probably want to save this for special occasions because it was so freaking expensive. But that is how it turned out. One more thing I want to show before I end this video is what it looks like when it's- Oh shit! I totally forgot it was still wet. My bag. Oopsie daisies. So, actually, how do I want to do this? Let's, let's keep you stand still. Just zoomed all the way up. Okay, so let's take a look at this. You can kind of see from different angles. That holographic is definitely very sparkly. And we got this one but yeah pretty cool let's say um yeah okay bye oh oopsie